Hello, I'm Noel Powell with Creation FX, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to try to blow your mind with an amazing new product for creating the ever popular lens flare effect. Now, these flares that you're seeing now are all made entirely in After Effects. No plugins or other software used, just the tools that After Effects CS3 came with. With this template called Creation Lens Flares, you can create your own custom lens flares or use any of these 50 pre-made lens flares, which are all fully customizable as well, and then animate them or motion track them to go over your footage. You have so much control over every element of these flares, plus you're working with the unrivaled power of After Effects and every effect that it offers, which is why I think this is the most powerful and flexible tool out there for creating high quality lens flares. And it's all for a fraction of the price of the competition. This template comes with lots of features like an effects library, an expressions library, light leaks, lens textures, and video training. And I'm going to give you a tour in a moment, but if you're staring at the screen and you still don't have a clue what I'm talking about, let me illuminate you. Lens flares are a phenomena caused by bright lights reflecting and refracting off the glass in a camera lens, causing a variety of shapes and colors that move in relation to the light source. They have grown increasingly popular as a design element, and if you pay attention, you'll see them in every movie and just about every commercial on TV, whether they were captured in camera or created in post-production. I know this because tragically, since I started this project, lens flares are all that I see anymore. And now because of me, they'll be all that you see anymore too. So, sorry for that. Now After Effects does come with three lens flares, but they can't be customized and really the only thing you can control is the position and brightness. Not to mention they have a certain reputation so that if you did use them in your video, you would probably get laughed at by millions, billions of artists all around the world. Now before I give you an overview of all the features, you should know that this video assumes that you're already familiar with After Effects and because there's so much to talk about, it moves pretty fast. But if you're not a pro yet, don't worry because there are other video tutorials that take you through this stuff step by step. So when you open the Creation Lens Flares template, you'll see a base comp for building your own lens flare. And right next to that base comp is the Elements Comp, with 18 basic elements to choose from. Building your lens flare is as easy as selecting one or multiple elements, copying and pasting them to your base comp. Now you can see at the top there's this control layer. If you click on that and drag it around, you'll be able to position your lens flare and watch it update in real time. But how do we control the look of this lens flare? Well, if you select any element, you'll see a bunch of these slider controls in the effects controls panel. And through the use of hundreds of lines of expressions in each lens flare, these slider controls can control just about every property imaginable for each element. You can control its brightness, scale, softness, color, you can flatten or stretch it. You can set it to auto orient toward the light source or rotate it manually. And you also have a lot of control over its position. You can change its proximity to the light source. You can offset it by dragging it. Or you can use the offset controls to change how the element moves on a particular axis. Now those are just the controls that all elements have in common. Depending on the element, there might be dozens more controls which affect the look of that element. So what if you want to control multiple elements at once? Well, that's not a problem either. Just select the control layer and you'll see a bunch more slider controls. These are global controls and it's how you can adjust properties of the lens flare as a whole. In the project window, there's a folder for lens flare presets. And here you'll find 50 finished lens flares divided into three categories, anamorphic, basic, and flashy. You can customize these using the slider controls, or if you just see something you like in a preset and you want to use it in your own lens flare, all you got to do is select the element, copy, and paste it into your base comp, and it will carry all of its slider control settings with it. And once you're done with your lens flare, you can animate the position of your control layer using keyframes, or if you're compositing the lens flare over footage, you can use After Effects' motion tracking controls so that your light source automatically tracks with the movement in your footage. And I've set it up so that it's really easy to do, and i show you how to do that in another tutorial. So I mentioned that you can animate the position. Well, in fact, you can animate any one of the slider controls on any element using keyframes, which gives you a lot of control over the look of your flare. But what if that's not enough? 
What if you want a truly dynamic lens flare that evolves automatically as you move your light source? Well, that kind of automatic animation is something that I call evolution. Evolution is possible using this comp here, the expression library. Now, if you don't know about expressions, don't worry, because all you have to do is cut and paste. Let's look at this first evolution effect, basic time or motion evolution. This one has a very simple function, which is just a basic change in value as the layer gets closer or further from the center of the comp. So here's a reflection shape array element. It consists of lots of these little reflections on one layer, and I know I can make them bigger using this expansion slider. But say I want the reflections to get bigger automatically as they get closer to the center of the comp. Well, when I copy this basic time or motion evolution expression and its controls and paste it into this layer, you can easily get that effect. This is just the tip of the iceberg, really, because you can go so much further with evolution. I changed the expansion in this example, but you can put an evolution expression on any slider control or parameter that you want. And the different expressions in the library all do different things to that slider control value. For example, you could put a wiggle on a brightness slider control so that it fluctuates at the speed and amount that you specify, resulting in a flicker effect. And you can set that flicker to start when the layer reaches 700 pixels from the center of the comp and end when it reaches 1000 pixels from the center. And it's all done using the slider control, so you won't ever need to edit a single line of code. So that's pretty cool, but there's another feature which I use just as much as the expression library when creating lens flares, and that's the effects library. I've gone through and tested every single effect in After Effects, and I kept the ones that I think work best in the lens flare context. These effects have expressions so that they work with the movement of the lens flare. For example, here's a basic starburst element, and here it is with a radial blur effect. Each effect comes with its own set of slider controls. Most of the slider controls are evolution controls, so not only can you edit the values of each effect, but you can set those values to change automatically as the layer moves. Here's some more examples of the effects library in action. Here's a reflection solid element, and here it is with a fractal noise effect. And you can see it gives it a texture that evolves as the layer moves. Here's a halo element, and here it is with a magnify and offset effect. Here's a light source glow element, and here it is with a CC flow motion and CC lens effect. And I should note that all of these looks can be changed dramatically by adjusting the slider controls that come with each effect. So you get the idea. There are over 20 effects in the library. They all get different results on different elements. And if you edit an element's shape using its slider controls, the possibilities are endless. On top of that, you can use more than one effect on an element. So hopefully you're beginning to see the range of possibility and flexibility that you have in getting some really cool and unique looks. There are a few more features worth noting, so I'll go over them quickly in the next minute or so. One is light leaks. I have included eight light leaks which you can composite over your footage, and they can be used by themselves or in conjunction with the lens flare, as I did a few times with the presets. The light leak is a really cool effect, and I'll often use them in editing for transitions or just to add interest to a shot. I'm also including a collection of lens textures, which are just JPEGs that can be composited over your footage. These can be set up so that they only show up in the brightest areas of the lens flare, which just adds another level of realism. This template also includes a way for you to get an automatic anamorphic streak on the lights in your footage without doing hardly any work at all. You just drop in your footage into the pre-comp that says put your footage here, and then the final comp will have a blue streak on only the brightest parts of the image. And again, there are slider controls to control color, intensity, threshold, and so on. And lastly, I want to mention the video tutorials. I hope this intro video will whet your appetite a little and give you an idea of how you can use this template. But if you want to learn more before you buy or if you already have the template and need some instruction, I strongly recommend that you check out the other tutorials since they uh, go into more depth about lens flare creation and what you can accomplish with this template. And you can see those videos on creationeffects.com or on YouTube. So that's it for now. I hope you like what you saw, and happy designing.